is basically the least attractive coloration to hungry horseflies. Less appealing than either, than either solid black or solid white. So maybe these stripes are a natural bug repellent. Good job. And Jin Hong? And interestingly, uh, zebra's striped patterns are as unique as fingerprints. No two are the same, so they may even have the animals recognize each other. There you have it, zebra stripes, fabulous and functionally. Excellent job. Very good, everybody. Uh, the speed and intonation sounded really good. I'm going to hit a couple of sentences here, though. Uh, I'll say hi to Santa. Hi, Santa. Um, try this one again, Alexander. They're kind of David Bowie's. Okay, kind of the. Get, don't, the world. Don't you skip the the? They're kind of, kind of the David Bowie's. They're kind of a David Bowie's. I'm not hearing the th. They're kind of the David Bowie's. They're kind of the David Bowie's. Good. One more time, please. They're kind of a David Bowie's of a mammalian world. I'm still not hearing enough TH. Uh -huh. listen, listen to me. They're kind of the David Bowie's. They're kind of the David Bowie's. One more time. They're kind of the David Bowie's. Okay, and then the whole thing? They're kind of the David Bowie's of a mammalian world. <laughs> You're trying really hard. Try it. Relax. One more time. Relaxed. Hmm. The kind of the David Bowie's of a mammalian world. You are speaking with too much caution. You try yeah. one more time. <laughs> I didn't practice. So, yeah. It's Everything sounds really good. And when you say it slowly, you have no problem. Say it quickly. One last time. They're kind of the David Bowie's. They're kind of the David Bowie's. There you go. That sounded really good. Much, much better. Um, let me go to Andre here. Uh, okay. Okay, this was the big problem, uh, given the distinct lack of zebra print environments. So intonation, I want you to hit these two words harder. Can you try this again, please? Okay. Given the distinct lack of zebra print environments in nature. Okay, that was much better. Now, it's not distinct, it's actually distinct. Given the distinct lack of zebra print environments in nature. One more time. Given the distinct lack of ze zebra print environments in nature. Excellent job, great job. And what's the American pronunciation? It's, uh, I presume that if this is a flap T, it should be something like pattern. That's pattern. Right. That's right. I'm looking for the A. Ah, that's right. Uh, about the pattern. About the pattern. Perfect. And the American pronunciation here? Not. Not the coloration. Not the coloration. Great job. And put these S's together. These stripes blend in nicely. These stripes blend in nicely. Perfect. Jinong, TH sound. Through? May also work through optical illusions. May also work through optical illusions. Very good. And you're saying illusions, and some people do say that. Illusions is proper, and we can do the schwa sound. Optical, uh, optical illusions. One more time. Optical illusions. Very good. And when they're together... And when they are together... Good. And your pronunciation is perfect. You're saying they are. However, can you say it quicker? There. And when they're together... And when they are together... Very good. A creeping predator. A creeping predator. Creeping. Creeping. There you go. Very good. And this is a tough one. Striped equines. Striped equines. 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 Okay. A herd of striped equines. A herd of striped equines. Very good. 
And then we go back to Alexander. A spinning wheel. A spinning wheel. Very good. Wagon wheel effect. Wagon wheel effect. Perfect. That iconic barbershop pole. That iconic barbershop pole. Excellent job. And Andre, American pronunciation. Andre, your mic's off. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> For example. Perfect. And yes, you said both. And both are fine. Either, either. It doesn't matter. I think the guy in the video said either. Yes. Which is more common? You know, I, I, I don't think there's an answer. I know that I say both. And I've tried to figure out when I say both. Uh, I think when I want to enunciate, I think I say either. Um, and when I'm okay. speaking without thinking, I usually say either. So I don't think it matters, though. Okay, thank you. You bet. And uh, Jin Hong, interestingly... Interestingly... Zebra stripe patterns... Zebra striped pythons. Good. Now, that's a tough one. It's really hard, actually, to kind of hear the D. It's a T. Listen carefully. Zebra striped patterns. Zebra striped pythons. Okay, stop it. Zebra striped patterns. Zebra striped patterns. That's, that's better, except for the do do do. Striped patterns. <laughs> striped Patterns. There you go. Uh, help the animals recognize each other. Help the animals recognize each other. Okay, so first of all, give me the L. Help the animals. Help the animals. Recognize. Recognize. There you go. And American pronunciation, fabulous. Fabulous. And functional. And functional. And hello, Jean. And hello, Jean. Hello, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone. Question. <laughs> nice to meet Good. you. Nice to see you, nice too, to see you. What was wrong, Jean? Why couldn't you join? Ah, I had a, a, an unknown problem with my iPad app. Okay, so did you, you just try it again and it worked? No, uh, I use my laptop, ah, but uh, it's it uh, it uh, it go it's really slow and uh, yeah, nervously. <laughs> uh, okay, I I hope everything works. Maybe you should uh, reinstall the app on your iPad. Uh, maybe maybe at first one uh, at first time. First time. Okay. Uh, it goes wrong. All right, that's... Uh, Shane, uh, yes, sir. Can I ask you something? You may ask uh, me something. Yes, may I ask? This is a line blending nicely with the tall grasses. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm not sure, but I really didn't hear the here. All right, let me get the audio file out. Hold on a second. Blend in nicely with the tall grasses. They're kind of the David Bowie's of the mammalian world. There's no question that the stripes are stylish environments in nature, but really camouflage can work in a lot of different ways. Like, sometimes it's about the pattern, not the coloration, because to a colorblind lion, these stripes blend in nicely with tall grasses. Zebra oh, excellent job. There is no the. Okay, so. Great job. I'll play it again. Strikes blend in nicely with tall grasses. Zebra. These strikes blend in nicely with tall grasses. Zebra. These strikes blend in nicely with tall grasses. These. Can you guys hear it? Yes. Yep. No the. Thank the, you very much. No the. I will have to update my answers file. This is a great job. So let me write that down. Hold on, a second. I have to write it down. Otherwise, I forget. Take it easy, Shane. Oh, Relax. No, no, Relax. <laughs> Great. And and Shane, could it be also tall grass? Because generally grass, I don't know, is uncomfortable. 
Am I right? Yes. No, you got that's a great point. And the answer is grasses. Uh, so grass generally is called a non count noun, right? Right. Yes. So why does he say grasses? Why? Maybe he thinks about blades of grasses. No. That is no. that would be the non count meaning. But grass can be plural. How? Maybe okay. places, maybe places with the grass? No. Different grasses? Different types of grass. Oh, okay. That's right. So, for example, um, has anyone been to a golf course? Okay. If you go to a golf course, you'll find three, at least three types of grass. Um, they have grass on the long part, which is about this long. Then they have grass in the circle area where you put the ball in the hole. It's called a green. That grass is really short. It's like this. It's like carpeting. And then outside the course, they have tall grass, which is much longer. So just by the height of the grass, there are three types of grass, okay? But then, if you look, for example, trees, there are many types of trees. There's a pine tree, a maple tree, a birch tree, and the same with grass. There's, you know, A type grass, B type grass, C type grass. So we can imagine in the savanna where the zebras live, there are actually many different types of grass, and that's why he says grasses. Okay. Yeah. We can say the same, for example, with uh, meat. Is meat a non-count noun or countable? Non-count. But if I said meats, what do I mean? Beef, chicken. Different types of meats. Beef, of meat. chicken, meat. lamb, whatever. Exactly. Pork. Exactly. Soya, meat. That's right. So same, come to think of it, can you make any noun? Countable, when you think of it? Yeah, probably. Another example would be people. We can say peoples. Uh, water, we can say waters. If we're thinking of different groups of people or different types of water, ocean water, river water, reservoir water, drinking water, you know, we, it's possible to do that, yes. Okay, so it's interesting. Really. Yeah. And that's actually pretty confusing. It's actually a little bit technical because generally we say grass. So grasses, what do you mean? That, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. And uh, pronunciation question. Yes, sir. Um, what's the difference in pronunciation between two very similar words? Where, when I ask about places, and the past form of to be where? Where? For example, where were they? Ah, were. Yes. Okay. Uh, so the first two are syn uh, uh, homonyms. They sound the same. Where, where. Uh, this is were. Okay. So I'll show you. I don't know if that'll help. Um, but when we say uh, W H E R E, it has an A sound. So where, where, where. And when we say the ERE, it's an ER sound, were, were. So the easiest thing to think of is W-H-E-R-E -E is almost two syllables. It's not, but it kind of is, where, where. And W-E-R-E, -E, were, were. It's a simple ER sound. Now, once again, no American would say W-H-E-R-E -E is two syllables, but for the pronunciation learner, it's easier to think of it as two syllables. Where? Where are those clothes you were wearing yesterday? Where are those clothes you were wearing yesterday? Can you try that? Where are those clothes you were wearing yesterday? 
Try this one. Where were you? Where were you? It sounds good. Where were you? Where were you? Perfect. Can you okay, hear it? So, Can you feel it? Yes. This is the, like a diphthong in the first word. Okay. Now, this is a problem. Um, when we talk about vowels, this uh, any time you combine a vowel with an R, it's a special type of pronunciation, at least for American pronunciation. And you could call it a diphthong, um, but I think diphthongs are usually two vowels together. But it's a type of diphthong, you can think like that. Our combination uh -huh. is tough. Uh, a R E R I R O R U R. They're they're very tricky for for lots of students. Okay. Uh, uh, so it's a kind uh, of a uh, schwa. Uh, what do you say? Bit bit before R. A little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't. Once again, because it's an R combination, let's say R diphthong. I don't like to use the word schwa, but kind of. Yeah, I'll I'll accept kind of. Mm -hmm. Er. Okay. Er. Er. Yeah, it's very schwa esque. Gene, did you have a question? Yes. Uh, do we have to connect R, R sound with Y sound? Where, where, where were you? It, uh, or uh, we can say, where were you? Where were you? Yeah. Where yeah. were you? Both are fine, Gene. Uh, okay. And I think you'll hear both in English. We can say Ryu and where were you. Uh, both are possible. I think maybe the R connecting is more common. Yes, because uh, when I go naturally, uh, my R sound uh, became become uh, more easy, or more more uh, weaker, more oh, okay. weaker. I, I don't want it to be weak. Where were you? 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 Yeah. Where were you? Where were you yesterday? Sound like somebody from Chicago. Yes, yes. Uh, from Chicago, uh, Chicago have uh, many musicians. There you go. That I that I heard that I heard. <laughs> Maybe because of... More questions. Jin Hong, you never ask questions these days. Are you intimidated? No, 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 no. Because for me, I have a lot of questions, but I, I prefer to listen to others' questions, and from others' questions, I got a lot. Okay. Yeah. Don't be shy. No, I'm not shy. Alexander, this is not even... So maybe take advantage of it. Uh, Shane. Yes. Can I? And uh, could you talk a little bit about almost and always? I mean, these two words. What kind of contraction or reduction we can use? Almost. Can I say almost or almost without T? Yeah, so... E without L. Yeah, there's two possible, oops, uh, anything with AL, even uh, all right, um, anything else, anyway, uh, all together. Um, it's possible to skip the L, and if we skip the L, you have to have a strong AW. So always, always is no problem. Almost, almost is no problem. Uh, all right, all right is actually very common. Got to keep the R and all together, all together, all together. Mm, no, I'm going to say all together is more common. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this situation, you're probably going to keep the L. And yes, of course, with the S, we can definitely cancel the T. So, uh, for example, uh, we could say, Almost always, almost always, 
with uh, no no T sound. Almost always. He almost always calls. <laughs> yeah, so that was he almost always calls, but even here it's actually possible to say that. He almost always calls. The L is going to be a dark L in this case, which makes it tough to hear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. He almost always Change. calls. Yes. Um, about altogether. Yes. Uh, can we uh, can we change uh, T sound like ta da to yes. do all together? All together. Yeah, and all actually, together. I would say it's more naturally. Uh, L uh, is uh, is vibrated. Uh, like uh, vibrated, like D sound, all yeah. together. It's That's more right. natural. All together, all together would be very common. All together, all together, very common. All together. Yep. And uh, yes. always, uh, Shane, um, this last syllable, is it possible to say always or some, not, not okay. necessarily always, but always or just always? In a question, definitely. Always, always. But in a statement, uh, the adverb part is going to be more important. Remember, this is like an adverb. <laughs> all, almost. Okay, all right, all together. So usually the adverb section is going to get the accent. Uh, generally, that's going to happen all the time. Uh, but of course, in a question, if it's a question, then it's going to switch. Always, always. It's going to mm -hmm. be hit here. But in a statement, um, Andre, you should generally stick with the first syllable getting the accent. Okay? Okay. Can you try this sentence? Uh, he almost always calls. There you go. He almost always calls. He almost always calls. Great. Excellent job. Uh, once again, I do recommend trying to keep the L uh, in calls. It's that dark L, but try and keep it. Calls. Or Call. The tongue in the same position uh, like the R sound. No. Oh. Oh. Or. Oh. Oh. No, no, no. L. no, it's not. Remember, uh, Gene, when we do the R, the tongue never touches. The tip of the tongue never touches. But when we do the L, it must touch. Uh, yes, yes, I understand. Uh, but uh, um, later, later, uh, uh, okay, uh, starting position of R sound and dark L sound, I think is uh, the same. Starting position, no? No, I'm gonna. I'll show you here. I'll make a picture. All, 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 These are all, your all, upper all, teeth. All, these are your lower teeth and let me get a pen here so when we do the L the dark L the usual place for the dark L to touch is here okay so this is the dark L now when we do the light L or I'm sorry the R rather uh, all right all right the tongue is about here and then it moves up. Oh, okay. Deeper. Deeper in mouth. Yeah, it's a little bit back in the mouth and then it's going to move up. All right. All right. And it's going to go all the way to get that R to about pointing to the top. Okay? So this is yes, kind yes. of the R movement. And the L movement, usually, usually the L goes back or down, uh, one or the other. And the R typically has this upward, not too much, but a little bit, right, 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 and it's going to go up a bit. Uh, yes, okay, but the same position <laughs> between TH sound and L sound, the same? <laughs> no, I'm going to disagree again. 
So the TH, ah. now remember, the TH is always the goal between the teeth. Between the teeth, that's right. Yes, but 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 perfect L sound is as between I know. the teeth. Yes. Yes. That's right. So the light L and the TH same position. Yes. So once Wah. again, the light <laughs> The same position, but same, the ear yeah. goes through different, you know, channels, right? Right, right. Yeah, the light L and TH will be the same. L. Uh, uh, I got the one thing about accents. Uh, and sound L, L sound uh, is very different. Uh, sound uh, when it comes to a a different accents. Uh, Indian L, full, full. Uh, Spanish, yes. Uh, American L sound. English, British L sound. More dark, more deeper. Uh, especially Liverpool sound. Yeah, Liverpool, Scotland, yes. very uh, Scotland, very uh, dark, very dark L. That's right. Yes, yes. Be That's right. Uh, uh, totally disappeared. Uh, Scotland, uh, Scotland. Scotland. <laughs> refer, like yeah. Americans would say Scotland, Scotland, yeah. and the Scottish people would be more like Scotland, Scotland. Uh, yes, yes. So it's very different. That's right. Yeah. The the that's why. Once again, uh, there's going to be lots of variations for different sounds. However, if you can master the standard American pronunciation, then the entire world, English-speaking world, will understand you because of Hollywood, CNN, pop songs. That's the reason. But, uh, yeah. Even in America, you'll find different styles of pronunciation, especially with vowels, especially with vowels. Yes, Shane, talking about vowels, uh, I have two, two sounds that are really confusing. Yeah. Short O, short O like in com, and kind of schwa sound in connect yeah. the first the first uh, vowels in these words connect and come okay so what's the difference between these two all right so this is a short o this is called the short o and the short o sounds like ah so it's con 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 um this is an absolute schwa sound, the O, and it sounds like K. It's almost like a U, but it's a K, connect, connect. It's K. really short. It's not connect, but some people in America would say connect, but it's actually connect, connect. So it's not connect, it's connect. So let's go up here, look at a bigger word, uh, con man. A con man and connect, connect. Okay, so it's a great, great difference. Yes, great difference. Actually, but, it's a big difference. Shane, and give another word. Come, come. Okay, that's a sh yeah. That's that's not a short O. So the word what come is, it? is actually a short, oops, a short U, uh, which is an a. Uh, sound. So, is, this sounds like, like schwa, no, but no, no. more clear. No, the schwa is going to be in, the schwa, oh yeah, the, it, I, I know what you mean. Yes, yes, you're right, but no, not always. The schwa sound is like a combination of a short U and a short I. So it's like a, uh, uh, it's really short, it's just a, uh, uh. okay, so connect 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 so a short i would be k 
Connect. That's why, do you know, uh, Microsoft has the game Connect. Is that how you spell mm. Is that right, Microsoft Connect? Oops. No, uh, it's probably Sony, Sony. No, no, Microsoft Connect, yeah. Xbox 360, oh. it's one end. So the Microsoft Connect is using this type of schwa sound, and the word that they mean is connect, because you can connect with other game people. Your body can connect with the game. Um, but they use this, connect, which is the short I version of the schwa sound. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, some people will say connect. Connect. That's possible mm -hmm. too. So what the schwa is, sometimes it's a short U, sometimes it's a short I, but perfectly, it's a combination and it's just a really, really short uh, uh, sound. Connect. Connect. Okay? Okay. Yeah, it's, that's a tough one because, like, like you noticed, sometimes it is a short U, but sometimes it's a short I. And here's the perfect example, Microsoft Xbox mm -hmm. 360 Connect. Let me spell Microsoft small s. Yeah, so good questions. Yeah, it's tough stuff. Okay, tough, yeah. Any other questions? Hello, Andre. Hello, Shane. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thanks. The boys from St. <laughs> I recall... <laughs> what? Yes. The boys from St. Petersburg are here. Yes, <laughs> okay. yes. We, are, we are in majority. It seems to be like uh, us, uh, we in majority here. You know, uh, St. Petersburg, uh, come on, Lita, where are you from? Belarus and Poland, you're all right next to each other, aren't you? Yes, but uh, I am personally Belarus. I am my. Um, I was born in Belarus. That's right, that's right. So we've got a big connection here, big connection. Yes. Eastern Europe, that's right. We have a great, uh, yeah, Slavic languages. The Slavic <laughs> languages are in the house. That's right. That's right. Sergey also from yeah. the same region. Okay, I'll go ahead and finish up DDM one seventeen. Let me look at the glossary. David Bowie. Oh my God. Uh, mammalian world. Like I said, usually we just say mammal. Usually we just say mammal. Uh, stylish have to do with camouflage. The American pronunciation is a schwa cam camouflage camouflage. It's almost a short eye. Uh, beautiful picture. Uh, blends in nicely. Blends in perfectly. What is this? What, it, obviously, this is a tree. But what are these? What's this part of the tree? We say it's bark. called bark. That's right, B-A-R-K, tree bark. So the owl's feathers blend in nicely with the tree bark, the tree bark. Uh, lack of something, uh, blended nicely, optical illusions. Yeah, this is 3D art, very popular. Creeping, sneaking, wagon wheel. Barbershop pole. Oh, I hate mosquitoes. How do you like my horse fly? Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> horse, horse fly, yes. <laughs> yeah, I come back. Good. Yeah, Where that's great for remembering the word. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, horse flies are big. Do you have horse flies in Russia? I'm, I bet you do. I, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Maybe left one. Maybe left one. Not the left one. <laughs> we call them sl slipping. It's cutie. Maybe. You call them what? Slipping. Slippy. 
it's the fly who beat who, the cow, yeah? Right, exactly, and, that's and right. And the horse. Yeah. Ah, they, they're really tough. Yeah, and when they bite you, you get a really big bite mark. But I think uh, they're kind of stupid because they sit and they don't fly. You, you just <laughs> slap them and go to the hell. Yeah, but they're big. They're chunky. Um, bigger than uh, a regular fly, but no, no, no. Yeah, a regular fly, if a regular fly is this big, I don't know if you can see. Uh, With wings? You mean? No, no, no. I mean just the body. The body of the fly is, is usually about this big. But then the horse fly yes. would be about this big, wow. about twice the size. No, 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 we, we, we don't have them. Ooh. We have a uh, shit fly. I'm sorry. Shit fly. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, here in Russia, yeah. we are regular guys, and we have regular fly. You are big, uh, Americans are big guys, and have big uh, flies. <laughs> 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 uh, guys, guys. Uh, I think uh, Russian uh, guys and American guys are about the same size, Andre. <laughs> yeah, it's, those, it's those Norwegian guys that are huge and the Danish guys that are huge. <laughs> How an English uh, Russian shit fly? I think, well, we don't say shit fly, but we do agree that flies love shit. <laughs> Uh, it's interesting uh, because of that flies uh, very beautiful colored. Yes. Same. <laughs> Same. Yes, Andre. <laughs> let me let me tell you one joke about flies. Uh, there, there is a there there is more, uh, was a, a conversation between two women, two uh, two women. Two women. And once. We, women, yes, women. Thanks. And uh, one of them uh, said uh, to uh, say to other that I am so attractive that uh, flies uh, flies fly fly to me. Uh, and the other woman, uh, ah, that uh, men men fly to me as a fly flies uh, to the honey and the honey. But uh, other women say uh, the flies goes. Uh, it, it it is. Uh, um, there uh, bees uh, fly to the honey. Okay, so uh, so men are attracted to me like men fly to me like bees fly bee, to the hive. Bees fly to to uh, to the honey to the honey. Uh, yes, and um, second woman uh, said uh, uh, it's uh, it's a uh, uh, it's a fly. It's uh, let me just uh, uh, remind what what I wanted to say. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, <laughs> we it's, uh, understand you, Andre. Go yeah. ahead, Andre. It's, yes, yes. I, I I I guess I know the end of this joke. <laughs> yes, yes. It's it's fly to it's bees fly to the uh, to the honey. The the flies go to the other star, same thing. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, it's like uh, Ellen yes. says, it's full of something. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Uh, yeah, full of something, there you go. Okay, I'm going to skip, we're going to go to DDM-118, which is Seinfeld. We've got uh, lots of roles here. So the first group, uh, I'll have our our new people join in. Let me have Andre Boyd be Jerry and Gene okay. be Ronnie. Um, Alexander be Kramer and Jin Hong be Toby. Okay? Okay. Go for it, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, roll up a little bit because I. Yep, it'll catch you. Okay. Hey, Ronnie. Hey. Could I have a club soda going on that night? Yeah, you. Yeah. You know, there are Christians here. Yeah, I know. Can I ask you something? Are my nostrils uh, getting bigger? I don't think so. 
Are you sure? Take a good look. They seem a little bigger. I don't. I don't know. Is it possible for nostrils to expand? <laughs> oh, is it a bit? Hey, I don't is do it, bits. Is it a bit? Hey, I don't do bits. I'm a prop comic. Damn it. I can't find my water. Gone. I can't go on without my water gone. Kramer. Jerry? Who's a Kramer? I need to, one more time, Alexander. Hey, Jerry. Hey. Well, here is Toby. This, that Jerry. This is so exciting! Look, I have goosebumps! Touch, touch them! I've never been to a comedy club before. Really? You know, a lot of restaurants are selling proof to the cough now, too. You are so funny! Oh, you will have a good time, I swear. Oh, he swears like he thinks I don't believe him. I believe you. I believe you. Oh, he's so funny. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> what about me? What about, what, about, what about you? I'm only kidding. You're funny too. I love to laugh. Good, good. So, you up next? Yeah, why don't you go... Is why don't you guys get a table so you will have so you will have good seats? Oh yeah, we don't want some jerk sitting in front of us. It will be like, hey, big head, can you move out of the way? I don't pay a cover charge to share at your blood spot. All right, so we have a good show, huh, buddy? Yeah. Oh, have a good show. Hey, we'll make sure it's a great show. Okay, good. Uh, 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 sorry. Okay, good. i see you later. Oh, he's so great. This is so great. I'm so excited. Very good. Excellent job, everybody. Let me go back to the top. Sergey, Ronnie. Hey Ronnie. Hey Ronnie. Okay, and now once again, when we say going on tonight, I recommend that everybody keep the t sound. Okay, so in this case, go in. We can get rid of the G. Don't forget, this actually kind of sounds like go win. Going on, going on tonight. Going on tonight. One more time, please. Going on, go, going on tonight. Going Perfect. On tonight. And once again, Jerry did say going on the night. Going on tonight. Going on tonight. Perfect. Great job, Andre. Very good. Very good. Thank you. And this one too. Oh, is this a bit? Oh, is this a bit? There you go. Now here, Andre, you can get rid of the th, but keep that z strong, z sound strong. Is this a bit? This a bit. This a bit. This a bit. Excellent job. And Alexander, keep the S here. That's Jerry. That's Jerry. Perfect. And Jinong, your pronunciation was fine, but actually, uh, Toby canceled the TH there, so touch him. Touch him. Touch him. Touch him. Touch him. Touch. Him. touch. Um, no, no, no. So remember, if we cancel, that means we have to connect. So if we connect, now we have it like this. So touch them. Touch them. There you go. Touch them. Touch them. Perfect. This is a tough one. Is it decaf or decaf? De I, I, I think it's the cough. It's actually decaf, so we really have to emphasize that. But don't forget, these two D's go together, so it's really tough. Uh, serving brewed decaf. Serving brewed decaf. Caf. Serving, serving brewed brew decaf. decaf. Brewed decaf. There you go. So try the sentence one more time. 
You know, a lot of restaurants are serving brew decaf. No. You know, a lot of restaurants are serving brew decaf now, too. Mm -hmm. A lot of restaurants are, are serving brew decaf now, no, too. No. Brew decaf now, too. Brew decaf. Decaf, brew decaf now too. That's right. Let's get rid of brew. Let's get rid of this word. A lot of restaurants are serving decaf now too. A lot of restaurants are serving de decaf now too. That's right. A lot of restaurants are serving brew decaf now too. A lot of restaurants are serving brew decaf no. now too. Brew, brew decaf. De decaf. Decaf. A lot of restaurants are serving brew decaf now too. Brew decaf. <laughs> de decaf, decaf. Serving brew decaf now too. Brew decaf. Brew decaf, decaf, decaf. One brew more decaf. time. <laughs> A lot of restaurants are serving brew decaf. No! Oh. Brew decaf. <laughs> Dick, brew decaf, brew decaf. <laughs> Andre, De this is your last chance. Yeah. Ah, shame, shame. Wait, no, no, G, let him go, let him go. A, a, a lot of restaurants are serving brew decaf. <laughs> no, too. All right, that's. I, I can't. I, I don't. I don't. I. I can't um, do this better. You Sorry. Did, right. That was good. That, the last one was good. <laughs> Gene, did you have a question? Uh, maybe, um, maybe it can help, Andre. Uh, a, uh, try, um, try, uh, get rid of a sound. Dico, dick, dick. Well, actually, Deco. that's a good point. Uh, the full word is decaf. Uh, decaf. Whoops. Decaf. Is that spelled right? Digger. Yeah. Digger. Okay. So, uh, this word is a strange word for pronunciation. Um, usually, if we have more than one syllable, we keep one vowel sound, and the other vowel sounds can change to a schwa. But not in this word. In this word, we have to keep the long E, and... Uh, I'll just make it red. And we have to keep the short A. And this is a schwa. And we have to keep this long A. And this is a schwa. Okay? So this schwa is a, a pure schwa. This is more of a, a short I. So decaffeinated. Decaffeinated. I'm sorry. De decaffeinated. 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 That sounded Decaffeinated. really good. Now, when we do say the full word, some people will make this a schwa. But when we say the short word, we have to say, we, don't, we never say decaf. We always say decaf, decaf. And okay. we have to keep both of these sounds. So that, that really uh, is a tough word. Yes. Okay. Uh, can we drop uh, one syllable from decaffeinated? Uh, e, uh, e, I sound, e I syllable. Okay, it's it's not it's not drop, but it does become a schwa. Decaffeinated. 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 Yeah, so you have to keep something there. Um, and it would be a schwa sound. Okay. Oh, uh, I, 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 I think I thought like uh, the word family, family, family. Okay. Caffeinated. Right, but but when we say family, we can actually if we drop the I and we can drop the I, the sound is different. Um, it it really so that's three syllables. It would be two syllables. Yeah. So it's not family, family. It's family, family. But here it's cat. We have to have that syllable, so we Cap keep the syllable. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Let me go to Jerry's line. Andre, not good. Good. You'll have a good, good. time. I swear. You. You'll have a good time. I swear. 
Perfect. Not sphere, sphere. sphere. That's right, that's right. Is it correct? Yeah. Yep. And Jin Hong, I didn't pay a cover charge. I didn't pay a cover charge. To stare at your bald spot. To, to stare at your bald spot. Great job. Okay, now this one is a tough sentence to read too. Uh, these words really got to go close together. Alexander, so you have a good show, huh, buddy? So you have a good show, huh, buddy? Perfect. Excellent job. And instead of huh, buddy, we could you could say okay. It's the same idea. So huh, buddy, and okay actually mean the same thing. Great job. And that was it. Very good. Let me go to the next scene here. Uh, this time, Alexander, I want you to be Jerry, and Gene, I want you to be Toby. Oh, really, really quick. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, Alexander. Men definitely hit the remote button more than women. Oh, really, really, that is so true. <laughs> Yes, yes, see, men don't care what's on TV, men only care what else is on TV. Yes, yes, right on, right on. <laughs> see, women really want to see what it is show is before they change the channel. Oh, that is so true, yes. <laughs> That's why men hunt and women nest. Boo, boo, he's boo. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, um, all right, so anyway, what was I talking about? <laughs> great job, great job. Everything was great. Uh, just this word, more emphasis. Can you do this sentence one more time, Alexander? Women really want to see what the show is before they change the channel. Perfect, exactly. Excellent job. Uh, now we got uh, Kramer, Jerry, Toby, and... Uh, Ronnie, one more time here. So let's see. Alex, uh, Andre, can you be Kramer and uh, okay. Andre Green? Andre Green, can you be Jerry? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Jin Hong, I want you to be Toby again. And Gene, I want you to be Ronnie. Okay. Go for it, guys. Mm -hmm. I, I I see I I don't I don't see my it'll catch it'll catch mm -hmm. ah okay I, I'm seeing now hey hey what's the deal what was going on there I invite you down here I have an important show and she heckles me <laughs> look she didn't mean anything well. What's the matter with her? Is she crazy? She's just being enthusiastic, that's all. Hey, what's wrong with you? Me? Nothing wrong with me. You boo me? You hiss? You didn't stop blathering throughout the whole set? Oh, come on, I saw your pro. That's part of the show. No, not part of the show. Booing and hissing are not part of the show, you boo puppets. You hiss villains in silent movies. Well, that's the way I express myself. How are you going to make it in this business if you can't take it? Oh, I can't take it. Let's go. Hey, man. Good set. <laughs> 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 All right, great job, you guys. Okay, so this is a tough one. We got this she's with a Z and the J, but we got to combine this, Andre. She's mm -hmm. just, so we get kind of a ZH sound. She's just being enthusiastic, that's all. She's, she's just being enthusiastic, that's all. Yeah, this is tough. So watch me carefully, Andre. Mm -hmm. So perfectly, she's just. She's just. Perfect. She's just. She's just. She's just. Yes. She's just. She's just. She's just. Excellent. 
She's just being enthusiastic. She's just being enthusiastic. Great job. What's wrong with you? Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, they're they're just enthusiastic. Yeah, is that Nicholas? I think what is his son's name? Nicholas, is that right? Yeah, I think Nicholas is being enthusiastic. That's all. <laughs> okay. Now, um, Andre, he kept yeah. it, he kept it separate, and why does he keep it separate? Uh, he wants to emphasize it. One more time, please. But could you do it first? You try. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong? Exactly. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? That's right. So we still emphasize the word wrong, but by keeping this separate, we can still feel even more emphasis. What is wrong with you? What is what is yeah, wrong? What is wrong with you? <laughs> perfect, perfect. Jin Hong, keep the S. Uh, nothing's wrong with me. There you go. Very good, very good. Okay, now Jin Hong, this was pretty good. Your ending was good, but this is pretty important. So remember, uh, this sentence actually has two really good expressions that are similar. So, Jin Hong, I want you to do this again. And then, Andre, I want you to be more angry and confident when you say this one. So, let's start with mm -hmm. Jin Hong. And I'm going to read it first. How are you going to make it in this business if you can't take it? Jin Hong, go ahead. How are you going to make it in this business if you can't take it? Oh, I can take it. That was much better. I can take it. Oh, I can take it. I can take it. I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the idea. That's the idea. Okay. Excellent job, everybody. I'm gonna let's look at the glossary here quick, and then I'll take questions. Um, so we had club soda. Uh, some people made it a big C, big S. That's possible. There is a brand name, but. I also show you that many other companies say Club Soda too. Uh, prop Comic, they have props, little stupid things, uh, goosebumps, water guns. We also say squirt guns. Goosebumps can be one word. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Uh, this is a stamp. When you get a cover charge, they stamp your hand. This is uh, a nice bald spot. Booing in America, we say boo. I think most countries say ooh, but in America we do say boo. Hiss? Nobody says hiss except my girlfriend. Uh, my girlfriend does that when she's mad. Uh, puppets, <laughs> villains, silent movies. I made a culture corner about silent movies. Did you guys watch it? Yeah. Was it okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, that was excellent, Shay. Oh, very good. Very funny with this guy. Yeah, What's Buster his name? Keaton. Buster Keaton. Buster Keaton, right. Was he great. was this still face all the time. Yes, that was his trademark. No expression. No expression. That's right. Any questions about anything? I have one. Wait. Okay. What? Oh, oh ladies, home first. ladies first. Ladies first. Thank ladies you. first, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Shane, you mentioned the silence film. You you mentioned a lot of name uh, in American, but other place I think most of us we know uh, only Charlie Jobling. Charlie Chaplin, yes. Yeah. But I think uh, I think Greta Garbo is also famous. No. No, maybe for American, but just for in America. Other... Yeah. Yes, yes, it's pretty famous. Yeah, Charlie Chaplin is famous around the world. He has that unique look. Um, Greta Garbo, if you showed me a picture of Greta Garbo, I wouldn't recognize her. However, the name is very famous. Uh, so lots of these, Charlie Chaplin's image is very famous, but uh, the other people, 
it's the name that we know, not really the face. That's interesting, though. I wasn't sure uh, how popular it was, uh, these names were, in other parts of the world. Gene, you had a question. Oh, Sandra Raisin said, uh, I saw a Buster Keaton picture the other day at a gallery. Cool. What kind of picture, Santa? A funny picture, like when the house, uh, him sitting on a stairs. Great. Him sitting on uh, a stairs or the stairs. Very good. Uh, is it my turn? Yes, it's your turn. <laughs> Finally. Uh, Shane, I confess. I didn't remember, uh, I, I don't remember uh, either watch or not watch uh, the explanation <laughs> video. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I think that I watched the explanation video, <laughs> but I don't remember uh, about going on tonight. Going on tonight. Okay. Uh, what uh, what uh, Jerry means? Uh, are you going on tonight? Yeah. So excuse me. Uh, are grammatically, you? are you going on tonight? Oh, okay, okay. That's my question. Okay. Are you going on tonight? That's right. That was too easy. Okay. Here's Buster Keaton. Um, uh, oh, is uh, this is uh, this the one? Santa, is this the one that you saw? No. I'm trying to look for Buster Keaton on the stairs. Is this the one? Him sitting with a nutcracker. Oh. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, Buster Keaton. Who's that guy? Who's this that is guy? Buster Keaton. Oh, okay. Buster Keaton was very famous because he did his every stunt exactly. in the film. Exactly. That's so right. it was a really very fit guy. He was a, a fearless guy because some of his stunts were really crazy. <clears throat> very I don't know about. Actually, there's a, there, there are many videos on YouTube uh, about Buster Keaton stunts, and I, I recommend everybody... Uh, watch, watch him. He's pretty amazing. There is a gr great film, General, with Boston yes. Keaton. Yeah, this that is the, this is the picture where this heavy, heavy wall actually falls right, and he falls right through the window. Um, it's just ah, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, it's real. This is a. It's, it's he's crazy. He's really crazy. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, uh, in that day, uh, uh, have uh, any computers uh, or right. mm, no graphics program? No graphics. No cheating. <laughs> That's right. No cheating. Exactly. So we can say that unlike today's uh, movie stars, he really deserved his money. <laughs> exactly. I think that's the best way to look at it. He he really did the job. Uh, he was yeah. a, a, a real true yes, yes. Uh, performer. Crazy. Yes, yes. Yeah, I wish I could find the picture that Santa saw, but I can't see anything. Uh, uh, and the value, uh, the value of uh, all the uh, movies about space, about future, uh, is more bigger, is more uh, because uh, they have. Uh, very little, uh, little, uh, you, uh, little way. Spit it out, Gene. Uh, 
Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sleeping. <laughs> Uh, they have too much. They have a lot of uh, forget uh, investment. It, forget it. Forget it. Forget <laughs> it. <laughs> go ahead. We made so, Yes, go ahead, Andre. Shane, I wanted to ask you about the word predator. Yes. Is it the ending of this word? Is it der or door? Predator ah. or predator? Der. D e r. It's always when the ending is O R. Okay. Uh, yeah. So my rule for students: if you see O R at the end of a word, pronounce it E R. However, um, it is possible that somebody would say predator. It's definitely possible, uh, but I'm going to say 98% of the time, predator. Okay. Yeah. It's very famous. It's very famous because of Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's right, the movie. That's right, there's a movie, Predator. That's right. Predator. Predator, okay. And uh, recently I, I studied uh, DDM number 80 again. And there was this expression, to learn a thing or two. Yeah. Uh, Shane, you remember that? Yes. To learn a thing or two. That was the guitarist, and, right? Uh, it was about a man who had an extremely uh, good memory. Okay, okay. Anyway, go ahead. And uh, and I, when I, you know, listened to it, I the first time uh, understood to learn a finger too. And you heard finger, you know finger to learn a finger let's imagine that you are a doctor right. <laughs> and you study medicine and you learn about finger right right <laughs> and you can say i have to learn a finger too to your friend <laughs> uh it's possible <laughs> yeah um now uh, it sounds rude now the, the difference in this case though that's a good point here now, when we say finger, we actually keep the G sound. But when we say thinger, the G is really going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be an NG sound. So there is a difference. Ah, I okay. don't understand your confusion. But here, thinger, thinger, thinger. And here, finger, finger, finger. Ah, yes, yeah. Can you hear that? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. But, yeah, that's this actually many people do get confused with the th and the f okay and yes can you say a few words about these two okay so i'll turn my video on so when we do the f sound so finger finger thinger thinger the air is much more restricted when we do the th finger 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 also the the lip formation is very different finger 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 so you can see that obviously when i do the f i bite my lower lip and when i do the th there's no touching. The problem is when we say it fast and you can't see the mouth, it is confusing. And the only answer I really have for you is if you can say it, you can hear it. So for example, to learn a thing or two is an expression. So if you know that expression, you will never hear finger. But if you don't know the expression, it might be confusing. So it's just a matter of saying the expression and getting familiar with the expression. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's a great expression, though. Uh, what yeah. does it mean? Uh, to learn a, a or B, right? No, no, no. To learn a thing or two means, uh, actually, it means to learn a lot. 
Oh, okay. Okay, so um, so Gene, you can tell your friend, you should take DDM. I guarantee you'll learn a thing or two. Oh, okay, okay. So you, you're, maybe your friend, his English is really good. But you could still say, well, I still think you should take DDM because I'm sure you'll learn a thing or two. And the nuance would be, you'll learn a lot. <laughs> like a uh, word pretty, pretty. Uh, maybe polite uh, uh, means more. Uh, yeah, it's exactly. Pretty, pretty, pretty can mean pretty more. Bad. Pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> I learned pretty uh, much. Finger... Yes, yes. Pretty, you be careful with pretty though. Um, pretty can mean a lot, but it can also mean a little. Um, so, uh, for example, it's pretty expensive. So just watch my expression. It's pretty expensive. It's pretty expensive. Yes, yes. Is that yes. super expensive or a little expensive? No, no, no. Just a little, right? Yes. Okay, but if I say, it's pretty expensive. It's pretty expensive. Um, I got it because uh, uh, it's the same way we use that word in Russian language. Perfect, perfect. The same. Exactly. Great. That's good. Yeah, if you can relate these words to your language and the feeling, yes. it's easy to remember. Yes. Uh, it's interesting. For me, uh, I found uh, many, many relative uh, using uh, word uh, from English uh, to Russian language. That's, that uh, definitely is going to help you. Yes. Next so question. again, intonation is the most important thing. Seems to be, you know, yeah, if you the can. same word uh, spoken in different ways give totally different images. That's right. If intonation is important, and if you can see the person who's speaking, it's really beneficial. And the big problem is British people, especially, but also Americans, we love a style of humor called sarcasm. And the problem with sarcasm is our expression or our intonation doesn't tell the true meaning. You have to assume what the meaning is. So uh, when we talk about sarcasm, it's even more confusing. But yes, essentially, in normal speech, intonation and expression are extremely important. That's right. Right. And Shane, when there is a, such an expression, and not to crack, and not, not to crack. So we have double T, not and two. Can we change it to flop T or rather stop T? No. What? So, so think about our pronunciation rules. Similar sounds, we connect and, and keep, keep the last one. That's right. So in this case, uh, how would we say it? A nut to crack. That's right. A nut to crack. A nut to crack. A nut to crack. And it's going to be a very clear T. It's probably going to be a T. A nut to crack. A nut to crack. That's right. True T. Yep. Okay. So I little, but little is one word, right? That's right. So try this one. A little nut to crack. Perfect. A little nut to crack. Yeah. A little nut to crack. Little nut to crack. <laughs> okay. I want to say about sarcasm. Uh, you know, we can watch uh, the, uh, the one <laughs> example of sarcasm in the last DDM, 119, uh, from Ellen. <laughs> uh, uh, I can't remember what 19 was about. Ah, fashion. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, we, yeah uh, Ellen yes. is usually sarcastic. What did she say? 
Yes. Ah, uh, uh, do you remember? Uh, <laughs> it was funny for me uh, about splurge. You, uh, uh, I think should I think I think you should splurge, but uh, 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 occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, Actually, so uh, this line was sarcastic. This was Ellen's line too. Yeah. So the the one woman said, "Less is more. Less is more when you're wearing things like this." And Ellen says, "Oh, I, I say that all the time." Uh, that yeah. was sarcasm. I guarantee yeah. Ellen never says this. Never. <laughs> yeah. Um, but if you watch her and if you listen to her, you would believe that she says it all the time. But that's sarcasm. Oh, I say that all the time. <laughs> that was actually funny. Yes, yes. Don't say it. Well, great job today, guys. I uh, appreciate the excellent questions and the excellent uh, acting, intonation, pronunciation. You guys did really good. Usually, my Sunday crew, except for Andre Green, uh, usually you guys don't do your homework. Uh, but it seems like everybody did everything this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> so, Alexander, uh, thanks for joining us. Andre, I hope your son is okay. Andre Green, as always, uh, it's been a pleasure. Gene. Thank you. Uh, same here. It's, it's been a pleasure. I love your questions. Jin Hong, great job today. Your Seinfeld acting was really, really good. Uh, and Thank Serge you. Sergey and Sarah, <laughs> I appreciate you guys hanging out uh, and, and offering your comments and everything. Okay, see you next Sunday. Yes. Have a great week. You too, have a great week. Oh. Bye, everybody. But say, say yeah. please, don't make another DDM about fashion, but it says, you know, <laughs> I think the same <laughs> as you in your explanation video. <laughs> We're, we're we're finished with fashion. <laughs> Thank you very much. It looks, like, it looks like you're gonna wrap up the hangout. Yes, I'm wrapping up the hangout, Gene. <laughs> okay. See you. See you. See you next week. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Thank you. Bye. 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 Yeah, army fashion was great. Army. <laughs>